Yo, how is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Down Podcast, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Well, it all started at about 6 p.m. on Friday, April 24th, but it has been a very fun day for the Bears in regards to the draft. The Bears did choose two players in the second round, and we will be recapping both of those picks. I'm your host, Chris Mulpey, and today I'm joined with my co-host, Parth Shaw. How's it going, Parth? What's up, Chris? So, we've been live streaming for about an hour and 45 minutes now. It is about 7.44 p.m. We hopped on early when we heard that the Bears were probably going to make a move to trade up. They did not end up doing that. They did make their second round picks at both 43 and 50. Parth, I'm going to give it to you first. Who did the Bears pick with the 43rd overall pick? Tell me that. <clears throat> Tight end Cole Komet out of Notre Dame. That is correct. Cole Komet, the tight end out of Notre Dame, was chosen 43rd overall. Matt Miller, Bleacher Reports, draft analysts, undisputed tight end one in the draft. The Bears parted ways with Trey Burton last Friday. You know, we didn't really know how that one was going to end up playing out in the draft. But he is here. Komet is here. Parth, what did you think about that when the pick was made? Um... Just a little surprised, but I'm I'm not gonna hate on the pick, especially because gotta let him play the game first of all. And he's born and raised right here. He's been a Bears fan since he's grew up, grown up. So it's a, definitely a dream come true for Cole Komet, and a, could be a dream come true for many Bears fans. We haven't had a great tight end for a very long time. Last time we had one was Greg Olson. We traded away, traded him away. So hopefully that isn't the case with Cole Komet, who is who had similar intangibles and uh, sizables, whatever you call them, to yeah. Gronkowski. Don't want to name him any Gronk already, but it's going to be an exciting pick and hopefully pans out for the future. This one likely spells the end of Adam Shaheen's time in Chicago. Komet receiving a 6.34 prospect grade from NFL.com. That's meaning he will be a starter within the first two seasons. That is a very good thing considering the Bears currently have Jimmy Graham signed to a, to a two-year deal. Before I give my official reaction to this one, I'm going to hand it over to our other co-host who is now on the call, Jalen McClinton. Jalen, first of all, how are you doing on this Friday night, and what was your thoughts as the Bears select a Cole Komet 43rd overall? Oh, so I'm, I'm actually doing good. You know, I like both picks that the Bears made, and you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what these two draft picks can do for the team in the future. Absolutely. I mean, as far as Komet goes, you can't ask for much more. Of a, of a tight end that not only looks like, but has the stature and the frame and the measurables comparable to Rob Gronkowski. And it's going to be really dangerous to see how this guy plays out in Chicago, I think. You know, looking at his measurables, he's got some really good combine results. A 4-7 40-yard dash, which is solid for a tight end. A 37-inch vertical jump, which is very good for a tight end. And an 123-inch broad jump, six foot six, 33 inches on the arms with 10 and a half inch hands. Big hands, big body guy overall. A great run blocker coming to Chicago who can also be dynamic down the field. He is not scared to go up and be physical for a catch. So give me my reaction to this pick. I somewhat saw it coming. I did not expect it to happen. It was in the back of my mind a little bit, and obviously it happened. So, that being said, a lot of people aren't too happy about this. Bears fans aren't too happy about this. But what you need to realize is this. We were going to need a tight end at some point in the draft. I thought it was going to be either Komet or Hopkins. The Bears met with Bryson Hopkins out of Purdue three times. He was going to be available a little bit uh, deeper down the board. But that being said, they needed to address the tight end position. They did. It may or may not be where you wanted them to do it. But it did happen. That is a position of need. Ryan Pace obviously did that. Let's go through some Cole Komet stats here quickly. If we look over here on ESPN.com. And of course they have no information available because he's now a bear. But I'm going to hand it back to you, Parth. Do you think this ends up working out for the Bears? Do you think Cole Komet becomes a tight end that we're all looking for? Yes, yes. I, I, this is definitely going to work out. I, I mean, I always get excited about draft picks every year. I always 
think about the best about every draft pick we make. But, you know, Cole Komet, you know, born and raised in his Bears fan, as I said again, I feel like he's just got that extra hometown pride to play for the Bears. I mean, if you're a Bears fan growing up, how exciting would that be to play for your favorite team when you grow up? Absolutely. And uh, I, just, I just feel like he's 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 got everything he needs to become a great tight end, especially with Jimmy Graham here to help him out and teach him. I mean, Jimmy Graham was one of the best tight ends in the NFL for a very long time. So to learn from Jimmy Graham is definitely going to help him. And he doesn't have to be an instant day one starter here. We have Jimmy Graham to help him out, you know, take him under his shadow. And, if, and then hopefully Cole Komet can, especially starting next year and coming into this, like, after the bye week or whatever happens, get better and better. As a Absolutely. I mean, you got to think that Jimmy Graham and Clancy Barone are going to do an incredible job mentoring Komet into the tight end of the future for the Bears. And his junior year at Notre Dame, he played in 10 games, 43 receptions, 515 yards. That's 12 yards per reception and six touchdowns. So clearly a very productive tight end in uh, college. Will come to Chicago, probably join a two tight end set of some sort. The Bears currently do have 10 tight ends on the roster. For everyone freaking out about that, believe me, we will only have four five, maybe six of those at the end of the year, if most. So don't worry about that. A lot of the players uh, we have at tight end will be cut. But let's get into the next pick. With the 60th or 50th overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Bears selected Jalen Johnson, cornerback, out of Utah. Parth, I'm going to hand it back to you. What was your reaction to when the Bears picked uh, Johnson? Once again, a real surprise, but... I, I, it's a great pick. Uh, this just shows that we be, that we had a need at cornerback, and uh, I guess it solidifies our need. Jalen Johnson did ha- have some injury injury concerns coming out of the draft with his shoulder, but I'm not too worried about it. He played through it. He played great. He's he was the second team all college for corners. Yeah, I, I think he's six six foot. Um, he's got the speed. He's got the height. He's got what we need at what we need to decide to call Fuller corner back. We also have Jackson again to help him out. He yeah. a great pick. Uh, Absolutely. Chuck Pagano's there to develop him. We all know Chuck Pagano's a great secondary coach. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you look at some of Jalen Johnson's film, you'll see it. He's He's been absolutely incredible during his time at Utah. Parth did mention the injury concern. There's a little bit of that. But looking at his measurables from the Combine, I was there watching him at the Combine. He's someone that I took some pretty rigorous notes on. Thought he wasn't going to be there for the Bears. I think this is a better value pick than Komet, getting him at 50. And frankly, the Bears got two first-rounders, or two people that were projected to be first-rounders, in the second round. So for Jalen Johnson, 15 bench press reps. That's pretty solid for a corner. 4 5 40, 36 and a half inch vertical jump. 124 inch broad jump for the six foot cornerback out of Utah. Jalen, what was your reaction to when Jalen Johnson was picked? Actually, what Chris told us it was Jalen Johnson. He said Jalen really slow. So All right, Jalen. Jalen is uh, Jalen's unfortunately cutting out. Um, Jalen, try again. Hello. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah. Uh, so when when Chris told me the pick was Jalen Johnson, at first I thought he was, I thought he was about to say Jalen Hurts. I got nervous, but this is a corner uh, that we a corner was one of our biggest needs. Uh, we cut Principal Kamara in the off season. You know Trey Robertson and Kevin Tolliver. You don't know what we're gonna expect from them to be the quarterback too. So I'm not mad that we took a corner. I personally I would have took Trayvon Diggs. But um, a person who no, who nobody really thought would, would be at 50, he was projected to go first round, he's a great guy you pick for pace. So I like the pick. Absolutely. I mean, I think that was the better value pick, and that also definitely solidifies the Bears having Deion Bush most likely at strong safety. I would like to ask you guys before we go off, obviously we know Cole Komet has a bright future in Chicago, and let me read off Jalen Johnson's stats before I ask this question. Looking at him, you know, he had a, a very good year, I would think, uh, on defense for the Utah Utes. 34 tackles, looks like two interceptions, uh, and one pick six, and 11 passes defended, and that's in 13 games played. Pretty solid stats for him. Do you guys think he gets the week one start alongside Kyle Fuller in Chicago? 
I'm gonna say no, and that's because of COVID nineteen. Because we might not have, you know, training camp or rookie OTAs and stuff like that. And just because of that, I don't think he's gonna get the start. But I think coming in like maybe week four or five, he takes over Kevin Tolliver mm-hmm. or Hardy Burns, whoever is starting. Cool. I'm I'm gonna say no as well because we don't know if we're gonna have OTAs training camp at all, and this is gonna be his first year. And yeah. and a new defense, learning Chuck Pagano's defense, so he, he you know he has to get used to it. So I'm gonna say no, but you know deeper in the season, if if Artie Burns or Kevin Tolliver is not meeting expectations, then I can definitely see him being a starter. Absolutely, I think I could definitely see Jalen Johnson being a great tandem with Kyle Fuller in Chicago. We'll see how it ends up playing out, but it's looking very promising. The Bears drafted two players at positions of need. I don't think anyone can be mad about that. Two players with first-round grades, two players who are projected by the NFL to be starters in their first couple years. Let me check the comparisons that they have from the NFL because the NFL does a good thing where they compare players to current players who are in the league. Jalen Johnson's NFL comparison is Shaquille Griffin, a player who's been very good for the Seattle Seahawks over the years. And Cole Komet's comparison is George Kittle. And we all know what George Kittle has been able to do throughout time. Uh, Tyler Higby is also one of Komet's comparisons. Thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode. You heard our reactions to the Jalen Johnson and Cole Komet picks for the Bears at 43-50. and We're going to keep covering you guys on everything NFL draft. The Bears have a fifth, two sixth, and two seventh round picks remaining and they should still be able to find some talent at least with that fifth rounder. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. For more content, do us a favor. Head over to our website, BearedDown.com. You can find the links to all of our fan pages in the description. You can also follow the podcast on Instagram and Twitter at BearedDown. Guys, coming into the day, we didn't expect these picks, I'm sure, but are you guys happy with them? Yeah, it's a great, great, great first two picks for sure. Let's hope we can hit on the rest of them. Absolutely. Jalen? Yeah, definitely. I, I I definitely feel like these these could these picks wait, what was the question again? I'm tweaking. Uh were you happy with the picks? Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, I was right. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely happy with these picks. Um I feel like you know, these could be two, you know, Pro Bowl type starters for this team and help us win now. Absolutely. That's gonna do it for us guys. We'll get draft grades and stuff out uh throughout the days. Definitely some more good content coming out this weekend. We're going to be grinding for you guys. That is pretty much it, though. And as always, Chicago, stay safe and bear down. Peace. Peace.